Let's clear the air, debunk myths, and talk about why we celebrate Juneteenth. Follow us on a trip back in history. It's January 1st, 1863. The country has been in a civil war for two years. As a chess move, Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. This declared that all persons held as slaves within the rebellious states are and henceforth shall be free. Since Lincoln did not have authority to enforce this proclamation in all states, slave owners outside of rebellious states continued to barbarically force black people to do their labor. But the Emancipation Proclamation did weaken Confederate controlled territories. And to give the North an even bigger leg up, African Americans were now allowed to enlist in the Union Army. Free and enslaved men in the North rushed to enlist. Heroism in combat by early soldiers led to more African Americans enlisting. Soon, other regiments were formed, and in May 1863, the War Department established the Bureau of Colored Troops, also known as United States Colored Troops, USCT. On April 9, 1865, Lincoln's tactics proved to be successful and the North won the Civil War, preserving the Union. But white supremacy didn't stop there. Slave owners in Galveston Bay, Texas, hid the truth of freedom from black people. On June 19, 1865, some 2,000 Union troops, the USCT leading the charge, landed in Galveston and had to enforce the executive decree of freedom. And on this day, the last enslaved Africans in America were free. The first celebration of Juneteenth took place in 1866 by those freed African Americans in Galveston. Present day, Juneteenth is a federal holiday and a symbol of black independence. Though some of us still wonder, are we free yet? But that's a topic for another video. Happy Juneteenth!